Recently, the United Nations adopted a number of resolutions that uh, recognize access to safe drinking water and sanitation um, as a human right. And this has created opportunities for IWA to take on a pivotal role um, as a bridge between the human rights community on the one hand uh, and the community of water professional and practitioners on the other. Um, and in practical terms, IWA has decided to develop a handbook for this target audience of practitioners that will guide them through the new concepts and principles that come with these um, ideas around human rights to water and sanitation. And basically, this handbook will help them to uh, incorporate the criteria and principles uh, entailed in these, um, by these uh, human rights issues um, into their day-to-day -day routine. Uh, but it will also help them and encourage them um, to give inputs into what governments are now doing in shaping up the framework for policy and legislation um, at the national level to implement these human rights. Now, the human rights have as a core concept uh, progressive realization. That means that a number of criteria will have to be met over time. And key in that process is the reduction of inequalities and discrimination. In other words, to reduce the number of people at the bottom end uh, who don't have access to safe drinking water and sanitation. And this is exactly where IWA with the handbook will come in to help uh, operators, other professionals and regulators to contribute to the process and to improve on the performance of the services they deliver. IWA members, the water and sanitation practitioners, are responsible for delivering the services to people and uh, another part of the membership are the ones who regulate those processes. And in these processes there has to be a shift of emphasis towards uh, favoring the most vulnerable groups who now don't have access to these services. So it means that in the planning that is done by these practitioners, they will have to make sure uh, that rather than going just by economic criteria, they have to make sure that they will also now address some of the human rights criteria that aim at targeting the most vulnerable in the society. The human rights have as a core concept uh, progressive realization. That means that a number of criteria will have to be met over time. And key in that process is the reduction of inequalities and discrimination. In other words, to reduce the number of people at the bottom end uh, who don't have access to safe drinking water and sanitation. And this is exactly where IWA with the handbook will come in to help uh, operators, other professionals and regulators to contribute to the process and to improve on the performance of the services they deliver. It will lead to progressive realization because, of course, it will meet, pro it will achieve progress across the board with all these criteria that we have. So that's availability, access, quality, affordability. But it will also mean that in that process, when you look at the the top uh, uh, half and the uh, and the bottom half of the target audience they're working or the clients they're working for, that this um, distance of inequality uh, over time gradually diminishes until you get to the end point of universal coverage.